Hello, my name is Rusty. I'm excited to have time with God. Let's see what we'll learn. How we can improve to have a better relationship with him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you, God, because you are always good. Lord, help us to open our hearts and open our minds to learn every day because we want to be closer to you. You're always so good to us. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Do you want to know the answer to this? Who was Solomon's mother? It's always with a B. Bathsheba. If you want to know more about that story, go ahead and study it in your Bible, God's Word. Okay. Carry me away. Carry me away. Who's going to carry me? In Psalm chapter 61, verses 1 through 3, it says, Hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. Look here. The enemy. Who is that? Of course, the world and Satan. He's everywhere. And sometimes we need to go through hard times. And we say, Lord, we cry out to you for help. And God takes care of you. That's God's promise. Don't doubt that, okay? Make sure you're not being doubtful. But let's read this verses, uh, these verses again. Hear my cry, O God. Attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee when my heart is overwhelmed. So maybe right now, many people are overwhelmed or discouraged. Some people have problems in their lives, but we need to remember that God is in control. Let's do the end of this verse. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I, for thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. I want to remind you that God is always there for you. Sometimes uh, we get discouraged, but don't let that stop you. Don't let the world stop you. You need to keep going to serve God because God is always with you until the end. And that's going to be soon. So I pray that the Lord would give you strength and remember that while you're enduring and serving the Lord, Satan's going to attack you, but I pray that you stand strong and that God will carry you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we really thank you, Lord, for the scripture that helps us to understand. Maybe we need to look more into this verse and we need to be strong because you're our protection and our shelter, our strong tower. We're protected from the enemy when we're with you. God, thank you that you never forsake us, that you are always with us because we are your children. You're precious and we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. So time for Bible trivia. Is this an easy one? Maybe. Or maybe you'll like a hard one instead. 
Who was David's best friend? Who was David's best friend? Who supported him? Do you know? We have to wait for the answer till next time, but if you know, comment below. I really enjoy seeing your answers. And remember, God will always be with you. My precious brothers and sisters in Christ. Bye.